Stranded Deep on console is finally seeing its next big update from Beam Team, the makers of Stranded Deep. Now, it's a long list of bug fixes, honestly, and there is some small amount of quality of life changes. Some of those quality of life changes are actually pretty cool for console. Um, we're gonna dive in and kind of pick through some of the more important finer points. And if you guys would like to read the entire thing, I will link it down in the description and pin it in the comment section as well. So let's just dive right in. Hi everyone, the latest update is rolling out today, March 6th, 2023 for PlayStation and Xbox. Now it may take some time for it to appear across all regions, but you'll see the number 2107 in the bottom left of the main menu once your game is updated. Below is a list of the quality of life fixes and changes contained within this update. Unless otherwise stated, the fixes and changes below will apply to pre-existing saves. Meaning guys, you do not have to start a new game once your game updates. As well as this, the next release candidate is already with QA for testing. That means they already got the next update for console lined up and they're already working on it to make sure everything's good. This contains some important fixes or scenarios where achievements may not unlock and adds improved player feedback if a game fails to save for any reason. The team is also prioritizing issues with accessing crates and we will keep you posted on our progress in the next update from the team. First thing I really want to dive into is quality of life fixes. So let's go down to changes and adjustments. They changed the antidote recipe to match the PC version. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That means it's one PP for the antidote because that's the PC version. Change boat motor to function as a rudder when out of fuel. Change flare gun projectile behavior to match PC version. Don't really care. Change the lantern brightness to match the PC version. Yo guys, this one is pretty good because the lantern in the, in the console version barely gets off any light. So to have a lot brighter lantern is actually pretty big. I'm glad to see that. Change inventory to auto equip a lesser match if possible. If throwing refined spears, the inventory will auto equip a crude or fishing spear when out of refined spears. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now they change the world barrier from the yellow buoy balls in console to the holographic barrier like we have in the PC version. A lot of these quality of life adjustments are being adjusted to match PC. This I'm really liking to see. Now they increase the meat, fish, and fruit inventory capacity. Here you go, guys. This is PC from four to eight. And they proved all crafting placement. Now those are the quality of life changes that they've added to the game for this patch for PlayStation and Xbox. Once again, if you're playing on Nintendo Switch, they're not talking about that. You guys might want to dump on their forums and ask them what the heck's going on with that. But usually Nintendo Switch is a whole nother beast. So let's go ahead and look at some of the fixed issues that they did. Here we go. This one's actually kind of big. Fixed crafting combos in the story section of the crafting menu required locked for players after beating the boss. In other words, after you beat the boss, you can't craft that propeller or anything like that. That was a pretty nasty bug preventing players from finishing the game. They patched that out. And of course, because they fixed that, they fixed being unable to craft the boss trophies after you defeated them. So you couldn't make that big giant peep and eyeball from Luska after you killed them. Fixed players not being able to place hooks or shelves when attempting to craft them. Fixed bonus crates only showing five out of the eight available slots. Fixed the crab, hog, and snake animals not respawning on custom islands. Fixed female characters sometime playing male audio. That's actually pretty funny. Fixed scenarios where the player could load back with broken bones. Fixed scenario where player could save on a raft after drifting beyond the world barrier causing errors when reloading. Who the hell? Fixed sunscreen duplication on game reload. Fix spears and arrows remaining stuck in trees after hitting fruit. Fix the player dropping current item when switching items consolidated with the PC version. Fix scenario where a player could lose interaction after crafting a placeable item. Fixed a multiplayer disconnect occur when a player selects an item in their tool belt UI which gets consumed or used by another player. Fix the player unable to access crates if another player moves the crate away. Fixed able to place container shelf and light hook at the same position. Fixed drinkable coconut not taking damage from projectiles, but they say nothing about the duplication glitch where you can actually get infinite water. I wouldn't think that that's not on their radar, guys. It probably is. Whether they're going to patch it or not, God, I couldn't tell you. I didn't even know this was a thing right here. Fixed players being able to build on environments in boss areas. And of course, fixed player being able to change the camera view mode in prologue sequence. Who cares about that? Maybe that contributed to a bigger problem, but who cares about that? 
Anyways, guys, that is the latest news. Obviously, if you want to read every single thing that they changed or fixed, there's a link down in the description and pinned in the comment section. If you guys found this useful or helpful anyways, don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think of the new updates. Yes, no, or they missed the mark completely. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.